Hello, my name is Malikar. Nice to meet you and welcome back to Cold Steel. I was going to say three, four. God damn it, because it's a act three. Uh, okay, last episode. A lot of explanation. Maybe I got something right. Maybe I got something, some stuff wrong. I don't want to see what is wrong, what is right right now. So sorry about that. Because, you know, I want the game to be like, like, we tell me like with more details or saying something that then I'm like, oh, I was wrong about this in that explanation. So I go back, watch it. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm figuring it out by myself. And let's see how we, everything concludes in the final, final video towards all that has transcurred. I don't know if I'm explaining myself well. And about Gorg. I don't know why I'm gonna talk about Gorg. I just upload the last last video, so I don't know. Like really really like just a second ago. Um Gorg for me now is an interesting character. He's an interesting character. I like when Falcon does that. Towards connection to Gorg. I do wish it was no. It was hidden. And that's the cool thing, if I go back playing Costy 1 and 2, knowing all this stuff from 3 and 4, I will figure out the hidden things that has been said. Little things in Costy 1 and Costy 2. That's the cool thing if I one day go and replay them, which I want to do it. I don't want, but one day, one day. I say one day because, because we need to play other games per se, so... Let's say when, maybe in an anniversary, maybe before the final game. <laughs> okay, let's go. <sighs> ah, there was Toa. I want to use her, god damn it. I want easy peasy. That's why I want to use her. Because of the easy peasy. That's the point of Toa, everything, I need easy peasy. I'm just going to call Steel to, to use her. No, they were saying about allies, but I'm like, nobody gonna be our allies. <laughs> I think some people want to survive all of this. And the thing of them throwing me crow, 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 and crow, I'm like, okay, enough of crow, I get it. The Chancellor, the Chancellor, Emperor Dracia reborn. The Wim of Fate are inscrutable as ever. Even so, the big picture is starting to come together at last. Including the reason why Father Wool entrusts so much authority to him. Indeed. Sounds like Alicia's father and girl have quite a bit of baggage too. Yeah. The Black Workshop and the Evil Knight. It was even more dreadful than anything we could have expected. The Chancellor's true intention aside, we haven't got a glimpse into the cause of the Empire's woes. You're right, this is a real bombshell. A big one! Atomic! But the reverie of the Seven may just be our avenue to fight back against the curse. Right, thanks to Roselli and everyone, I have still my resolve to go through with the remaining rebellions. I thought we have already decided that. <laughs> we have to keep moving forward for Milium and for Valimar. Absolutely right. We'll fight with everything we have until the very end. Right as class 7. Seems all of this has really helped you move forward, in more ways than one. And if the Lionheart Emperor is to take an appearance in this story, that I can very well let myself be outdone by him, but now can I? Of course no! That's right, I'm glad we were able to find a role for ourselves in all of this. Look at Alpin. Look at Elise. When she's in person. Are you sure you don't mind? Providing Toa with support, I mean. No more about a thing. We have studied the terminal controls little by little. Really? Let her do something? God damn it! Oh, her finger's gonna be tiring. 
Yes, we have read the manual inside and out. I'm sure we'll be able to provide some assistance when you need it. <laughs> it really is amazing how you two got used to everything in no time at all. Elise, your highness, I'll be counting on you from now on, okay? You got it. Ah, you really can't underestimate those two. Everyone from the branch campus is going all out, so we better keep tempo with them. Now, it's about time we put together our internary. Internary, I should think our next objective pretty clear now. Right, grandmother showed me the situation before we left. It looks like two divine knights and their awakeners have taken up position at separate shrines. Oh, the Palatine Knight is at the Dragon Shrine in the Southern Line, while the Argent Knight is at the Stellan Shrine in Crossbell. They have probably been making preparation for the Rebellers given that the war is about to start. Well, guess nobody can cause the Maiden or the Jagger King of having a poor work ethic. I'm sure we are raring to go right now, but we have spent half the day at the Luna Shrine already. I say we pick just one spot and give it our undivided attention. <laughs> of course, girl! <laughs> we will undivide ourselves! Agreed. In addition to the shrine, I also like to check in on other surrounding area. So which place are we gonna hit up first? My lore is incredible, so naturally I'm interested lie there. Considering the distance, it may be better to start with the boss at the Dragon Shrine and work our way east. I decide here, both of you calm down. Good point, it was off old Agria Road, it's a farm, right? So once we are ready, let's head over there and start our reconnaissance. Sounds like a plan. By the way, so our request came through not long ago. If you could spare some time to take care of those I and the requesters, we'll greatly appreciate it. Understood. In that case, I suppose it's time we mobilize once again. Yes, as class 7 and the Radiant Wings both. That's cool. We, we should evolve to Radiant Wings at this point. Since they are like all and new and I'm like, enough of that. Or we should go with class 7, or we should go with riding wings. But enough of good and all. I get it. Good one, Court. Mm. With a courageous tool, the range of place we can explore is going to expand quite a lot. Before taking on the rivaliers themselves, we need to do what we can to help people in each area. Oh, Rin, one last thing. Towa? Towa! I just spoke with Jun and Kord and... The next time you go down to the surface, would you please take me- <gasps> Huh? Can I- <gasps> uh, You want to come along? Shh, let her come along! <laughs> but there is the ship operation to oversee and- uh, Wait, I get it. Elise and the others are going to help out, so we'll have so leeway to work with her. After all, there are some cases where contacting everyone is going to be a lot easier from the surface. I'd be away from actual combat, but I think I should help you out with my order. No, god damn it, Falcon. Understood, we weren't planning to do any more than scout the Dragon Shrine today anyway. Just don't overdo it, Toba, okay? Alright, I won. Even if it's for a little while, I won't let you down. Oh, and I send the orders to the terminal. Check it out if you are so inclined. You bet. Thanks. Oh, oh, okay. Hmm. I've been thinking to change Altina with my girlfriend. Like, if I see this, Alicia already got, like, strong at the... I, I can change when I want. What the hell? Now, Rin and Ash got mega power, you know, like strong, strong, strong. Like, they are my attackers. No, Laura, no. <laughs> no, it's because I don't take Laura because they got more, more Escort for me. Uh, so, what I still need 
is Baduba. The thing with Duba is her S-Craft for me. I can take a Kurt, made him made my evasion tank, which I haven't made now, haven't used them, evasion tank. Well, Fi is a monstrous evasion tank per se. So it's kinda like, and she got a big agility. Doesn't have a lot of scrap as Kurt, and Kurt can be a little more scrapped in attack. She got like three or four, three? I don't know. I can change when I want. Uh, so now, this is me. You are my reviving in case of emergency. And I'm gonna take Machias. Okay. Where are we going on? We are not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm like, we are not going anywhere yet. The situation in each location has completely changed, and you can now visit the city of Ordis and its surrounding roads. Toba will accompany your party. She won't participate in the red combat. About Selene's orders. When Emma is in your party, Selene's birth order, Midnight Onyx, will be available. Receive bonding points. Oh, 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 five, oh. But I want to do rounds. Oh, <laughs> it's ship rounds. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Ah, no, I did your request. <laughs> Who is my bonding thing? Atoa. I haven't done Gaius yet. Okay. Uh, rounds, right? Yeah, rounds. Uh, I want to do a fun run. Gonna try to do it in a towel. There, okay. Hi. Something smelled good in here. Did you bring the prince something to eat? I sure did. Much to my delighted, Sandy told me that she will try to recreate the very risotto my mother used to make. While I know it's improper etiquette, I asked her to bring it to me so I could eat it here. And it's here where I was thrown for a loop upon my discovery of the nostalgic dish formal name Lenheim Risotto. Lenheim Risotto? It was invented by His Highness Mother, a real Lenheim. In culinary circles, it's considered a pretty darn legendary dish. This is amazing. It really is just like Mother used to make. Sandy, I don't know how to thank you. I never thought I would taste this dish again. I'm truly blessed to have such a considerated cousin. Uh, well, that's not... W wait, what did you say? Second cousin, technically. On his mother's side. Sunday? <laughs> we only recently found out ourselves. And after all this time, it did come as quite a shock. I bet. So I guess I always did kind of assume you must have some fringe relatives in Ulster. I just never expect one of them would be Sandy. We weren't trying to hide it from you or anything, it just never came up till now. To return to the matter at hand, I really have to do something to show my gratitude. What would you say to your private concert at the sunny spot in? That sounds great, it's just what the town needs to keep their spirit up. <laughs> you two really do make for a great cousins. There are so many things to look forward to once the war is over. So I just hold in a solo concert at Ulster. I'll make it happen. Just you watch. <laughs> I'm just glad His Majesty is happy. He even promised a performance. Nothing could be better. Angie. Ah no, no. Ah no. Leonora. Hey Leonora, you're heading up the flight crew today, huh? Yeah, it's a real honor. They made me assistant pilot and everything. It's a little different from getting around on the sea, but a ship, a ship, this is pretty fun. Well, that's good. Whatever it's ship, spike, or soldans, you have got an area affinity for machines. Not remind me of Angelica in that way. Thanks, I take that as a compliment. Man, I can't believe the specs on this thing, it can over up to 3 cells per hour. I can't wait to experience that kind of speed firsthand. It's good to see you're so enthusiastic about your work. Now that I think about it, like thinking who will do the bonding point. 
We prepare some. Ah, okay, okay, sorry. Check request. Okay, there it is. Happy. Now let me go. Oh! Machias? What's wrong with people? They need to be in their bathing clothes. <laughs> ah, wait. Ah, no. We are... We need to... Elliot, why you didn't get one? You guys? What's wrong with you guys? Why they didn't get one? Hmm. Okay. You didn't. No. He did? No. Just us? Another thing? <gasps> Oh, that just mean one thing. That just mean freaking one thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh, he's not here, damn it. Ah, more well. Okay, that was fun. Are you sure you want to do that? What, 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 where that move come from? Okay, maybe if I send this guy here. Hey, Sydney, Matthias, teaching you how to play chess? Something like that. I uh, posing him a number of chess problems to help him get a grip on the finer points of the game. Chess problems, huh? Like trying to reach checkmate in a set number of turns with some prearranged pieces? Looks like you're really into it, Sydney. I figure it out to show everyone I'm more than just a pretty face. Aww. Charging in all gun hole like I always do is gonna cause problems down the line. I can't let that happen. Learning chess is my way of training myself to think things through a little more carefully. Not many people are s as honest about their fault as you. Yeah, you are more mature than I realize. Plus chicks dig smart guys. Times are changing, so I gotta change with them or I'll be left behind. Okay, now it all makes sense. You've been better off keeping that side of things quiet. I really need to work on sharpening my own the spot thinking and decision making skill. If I pull that off, I'd be able to reel in just about any girl I mean, grow tremendously as an individual. I'm glad that you are striving for self improvement, but I think we need to have a talk about your ever present ulterior motives. Popularity aside, it's his desire to shame that we should respect. This is a good break for me too. I work with him until he's satisfied. Sorry for the trouble, Machias. That's all we got here, right? Yes. Second floor. Third floor, I mean. Right. This is this. Okay. Okay. Of course. Of course. How could I ever forget? Oh, Alicia, at least you two having some kind of meeting? Yeah, I was just giving her some tips about the latest OEs, the one that was also used in the Merc Hub. Well, I want to be able to operate the terminal more efficiently. So I was asking her for advice on how to best use the developed model. We should let me create custom environments. It's great seeing you two so far up. Just try not to overwork yourselves. I'm still feeling fine. How about you, Alicia? Do you need a break? We may have had that trial this morning, but I'm doing good. Don't worry about me. Besides, I'm not the only one who's a little emotional fraud right now. All this did was help me gather my resolve. I think I'd go crazy if I just had to stay cooped up in my room the whole time anyway. Alright, so long as you are sure. Thank you so much for everything, Alicia. I'm really surprised by how fast Elise and Prince Alfin took to the terminal. And Toa, well, she goes without saying. I don't think we could hope for a better support. Alicia is a really good teacher. She's helped me out a lot. I'm going to do everything I can to meet your expectations. That's my sister! Little sister! Your sister. 
meeting room. Bonding event. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> shower room. Double shower room. Ah, oh, double. Sh oh, I get it. The wash up. <laughs> now I get why that star is more bag than the other one. Celine. Dawa. Ah, what a relief. Oh man. Ah, ah. I need to get. Oh, I'm gonna do that to my free time. <laughs> now you got your thing. Now you got your thing. Now we're good. Who else got their thing? No. I forgot. Okay. Uh, showers uh, here. What are we doing? Hey, Elliot, Crow, shoot him some pool? Well, no disrespect to any of your hardworking type, but I figure it's important to just kick back every now and then. Yeah, I could use some time off to center myself before the performance. No arguments here. So who's winning? Crow, the lazy king of kicking back? Hey, you're not wrong, but did you just have to put it like that? Seriously, though, have you played against Elliot lately? You won't believe how much he's improved. <laughs> what can I say? When you travel around as much as I do, you get people inviting you to play all kinds of games. I play an awful lot of pool, so I don't plan on letting Crow win that easily. <laughs> you literally come out of your shell the last couple of years. <laughs> Elliot of course you what? I can't wait to see you turn the tables on Crow. <laughs> I'm on it. Guys, I'm right here. I got pretty good at pool and darts. Even if Cross out of practice, I don't intend to let him beat me that easily. Seriously, Elio's pretty damn good despite that cute face of his. Whatever though, if that's how things are, I just have to stop holding back. Let Elio... Elio's gonna win. Okay, I'm Freddy. Freddy. Well, wait, hello, Instructor Rain. But you're feeling pretty tucker out after that trial, huh? We can fix you up right quick with some margaritas viper juice. A few sips and it zap the life right back into you. It sounds very uh, potent. Hey, what can I get you today? You know what has been helping me? The one that is like everybody. Come on, give it a try. Hey, Come what down. can I get you today? <laughs> Come again. I'm like doing all this, by buying all the fishing thing, and then I'm like, I need to go fishing. Schweizer, did you come here to train as well? I just want to see what was going on, that's all. And you say that you could lend us the slave <laughs> this morning, right, Duva? Yes, already have the setting all program. The slave F2 type 1 and type 2. Physically, attacks are not very effective against the type 1, but your approach are almost capable of using magic. Conversely, science magic attacks are not very effective for the type 2, and approach base around physical attacks should be taken. Got it. Looks like it will make for some good training. When you want to put your skill to the test again, just let me know. If you speak to certain people in the training room, you can take part in combat training. The difficulty increases as you progress through the story, so check it out if you are up for a challenge. Oh, so I will fight with Gaius? Like me and Gaius? Well, how we live? Uh, okay, whatever. But that, that's cool. I come from here? I oh, know. Bonding event. Second shop. Okay, I need to build a leash. I need like a little support attacker and a very attacker magician per se. Which could be Emma. But I don't take risk. Because I'm weak. Okay. Too many people. Everybody calm down. Let's go little by little. Hi. Bonding point. Fee. The boss has gone to Dragon Shrine. I don't think our showdown will be today. But we need to make sure we are ready as we can. 
Yeah, let's see where the courageous two take us first. We need to get some training in. I agree. If you need my help, just let me know. I was in the mood of stretching my legs anyway. Thanks, I'll let you know. If you need... Okay, 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 enough. Stop it. Ah, so you're the daughter of the Schleiden family. In that case, you must have met my darling Vincent before. Vincent Florent? Yes. I see him a couple of times when he came to my father for training. Wait, Margarita, are you and Vincent betrothed? Oh, oh you can tell. The engagement not official yet, but really, we are so in love that it's mere formality. You are a sharp one, Jessica. Uh, right. Margarita's version of reality seems to be a little different than ours, so I don't blame Jessica for being confused. Hey, Instructor Rin, would you like to try some of Yuna's homemade hot cinnamon milk? Sounds tempting, but I pass. You pass everything, goddammit, let her give you something free! <laughs> While I'm here, I'd like to compliment you on the great job you did at the Luna Shrine. It was a real challenge just to keep up with the old members of our team. And we learned so much new information, I still don't really know how to feel. So I'm glad I got to hear Millions' voice again. That sisterly love for you. But I say, that was a figure of speech. Million is million, it's as simple as that. Sure, of course, sorry to pry, Ali. <laughs> it's been a full on work since morning, everyone's hard at work though, it's not just me. If I'm gonna recharge for afternoon, I'll switch things up by doing some cooking. Don't overwork yourself, Yuna. Just keep it within reason. Yuna's homemade hot cinnamon milk. I had some before and it will always help me calm down. It is certainly a curious drink. Indeed. Hey Ash, Gustav, I thought you guys were reading here but it looks like I was wrong. I'm trying to, but Ash here clearly has other ideas. What? TT drags have got articles and stuff too, still concepts reading. <laughs> I'm not sure I call it literal truth though. Good question, Ash. But what kind of woman do you like? Do you have a type? I asked you the same thing if I thought I could get a straight answer, oh yeah. I like a girl who keeps things tight. Help if she's flexible too, if you know what I. That makes sense, Tatiana's good at keeping a tight schedule, but she's also... <laughs> okay, I don't know what... <laughs> no, not like that, you chump! You trying to piss me off, or are you really this stupid? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. <laughs> it's kind of refreshing to see Ash on the receive end of a joke for a change. Good one, Gustav. Even Gustav thinks he can take a shot at me. If... If this were Pavlov or Sydney, I take him out, but Ash, Ash. You know, Ash has really mellowed out since he joined your class. I'm happy to see Mike's room is a little less prickly in these days. Uh, Ash, where is Tatiana? Is that love novel here? We're looking for Emma. It is, thank you so much. <laughs> Order a book through Becky, huh? That's right. Talking with Dorothy remind me just how fun it is to dive into a new story. Things sure do change, eh, Rin? Remember back at the academy when Emma was a shy wee bookworm? Just look at her now, those eyes, those legs, those curves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> You must be better off, the guys with a stick. Sure you can control yourself around a babe like this, Rain? I don't know if I put it that way exactly. Still, anyone with eye can see how beautiful she is. Uh, Rain, you don't have to... Nah, you still deny it, Emma. With great sexiness comes great responsibility. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Lotus hot blonded young lads on this ship. 
Let's be sure you don't give ya anyone the wrong idea. A wee bit of attention can go right at our heads. She does have a point, Emma. Be careful not to not to break too many hearts. Oh dear. You like blondes? Well, I think I got a blonde wig. Wait, do I have a blonde wig? Red gold <coughs> Hi. Alright there! Right. There Hope to go. see you again. Hey! Oh. You're watching the store today, huh? Get anything new recently? Uh, at what point did I stop questioning this canine shop keeping business exactly? And uh, nothing, sorry. Thanks for everything you do for us, Sarah Birds. Oh. Okay. Uh, trade. Okay. Check bargain. Okay. Bye. I went there. I think I didn't go here. Yes. Reem, perfect timing. Help me out here. I'm trying to convince Dorothy to take a break from pairing up guys and write about girls for a change. I told you, Angelica, I have firm rules when it comes to what I write about and your request violates the most sacred one. I don't really have a dog in, in this fight. But if Dorothy really doesn't want to do it, there is no reason she should have to, right? Fair point, Rin, but I won't want to see a writer of Dorothy's caliber squander her potential. The girl has the chops for this. Wait, Angelica, have you read my books? Of course, they are amazing! Which is why I think it's criminal for you to limit your story to just one type of attraction. <laughs> uh, for now, let's start with a long talk about just how appealing woman can be, hmm? But I... How about that? Not even Dorothy has a match for Angelica. I'm not budging until you understand all the delights woman who love woman can offer. While I understand the aesthetic value, I really must insist. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bye. Ignore me. Ignore me. Tita, Landy, is everything okay? Yeah, we're just working out some stuff between Libera and Crossbell teams. Show me that. Stella and the others are gathering intel in the Eastern River Bunny right now. Lloyd and the old SSS have crossbow cover, but the Imperial Army has been taping their communications. So we are using the Courageous 2 system to help strengthen the encryption. I see. Thanks to that comms artifact we got a bit more wiggly room, but even then we only got so much range. Especially since it seems the Prince is trying to keep in contact with Calvart. Everything we can do feels so constricted right now to our comms. Give us time, we'll work something out. Supporting you guys is our top priority right now. If you're going to the surface, let us know and we'll help however we can. Thanks, we will. Oh, an unreal node? Okay, yes, I plan. Yeah, okay, that's it. Damn, class 7 sure is busy even though it's just morning. Well, if you're headed to the surface, we'll be uh, glad to help out. Feel free to ask anytime. Sure. I came here, right? Ah, oh, no, I didn't. Kerry! Now, what will you use to treat a patient with these symptoms? Let's see. I start by giving them the anti venom and then administer something to help stabilize their body pressure. Oh, but wait a second. Some of these natural remedies can have side effects, so. I see now, this is one of those cases where you have to get the balance between the different drugs just right. Very precisely, well done. Medicine can have adverse reaction with what drugs the patient already taking. It's important to remember that. I, I will, absolutely. I see you're getting a lesson from Lindy Carey. Is Dr. Ring? Yes, well, a few, just here and there when we're both free. 
I won't be able to hold proper classes again for a while, but I really do want Kairi to learn about medicine in depth. It's a good idea, you never know when knowledge like this may come in handy. Good luck, both of you. Thank you. It certainly helps, helps to have such an eager pupil. Lindy has been helping me out a lot, I learned so much from her. I may not be able to do much for her now, but I keep training so that I can eventually lessen her borders. Please, take your time! Come again! Okay. Looking for medicine? No. Come again anytime! Okay, stop, I don't have money. Okay, bonding point, Laura. What? Oh, you gonna throw me under the wall and kiss me? Wait a second, what will she do in her final? That's her final, yeah. Hi, Toa. Oh, Toa. Don't worry, it's all good on my end. I got this. Well, it's not good on my end. I couldn't reach you for over a month, and now you want to tag along an interview. Some third party power. Not just that, but you even sent this completely unrealistic event plan. Our paper is read by the military for Edio's sake. Also, doing a joint feature with Crossbow News isn't a bad idea. Right? I already talked him through with Rex. Actually, it may have been his idea originally. Normally, I flat out refuse, but some other staff here are on board with your proposal. However, it's not workable without some changes. Come to the office and we can discuss the edits. So, so sorry, boss, but no can do. I'm not on the best terms with the military at the moment, so I rather keep a low profile. Can I just leave it to your capable hands? Is this all, all a joke to you? Ever hear of the war responsibility? Vivi's talking to her superiors at the Coronicle. Sounds like she's subtending some underdog's proposal to the editor-in-chief. Well, not my business anyway. And thus we are hearing her conversation, because it's not... Oh, wait. 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 Oh, wow. What <laughs> Jingle. <clears throat> Yo, what are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same. I didn't expect to run into you here. I'm taking a break from work, gotta think something over. It's so convenient to have an airship. You can smuggle good easily while enjoying the wind in your hair as you speed through the air. The boat cat's not bad, but it can carry tanks or soldants. I gotta think of my future, of work opportunities. It's becoming clear to me that an airship is a must. I can help but worry wherever she starts laying out her future plans. I really want to get an airship for myself. Doesn't size one like this be great, but that must cost a kidney. And I ain't selling mine. Oh, maybe mama will buy me one. She's eyeing a real fully loaded airship. I chingo, what the hell? I thought it was going to be my bird. It wasn't my bird, it was a person. Alright, alright. Oh, wait! If Kurt got another event, and the last event, the only one that I did with him, because he just had one, it was a sword, maybe we get the other sword now, and I can change the picture of his sword in his sword thing. Quest. Hey, Rin, I hear you got to talk to Val and Milim again. <laughs> nice work, and speaking as your engineer inspiration, I couldn't be more proud. It really wasn't a matter of engineering. But thanks all the same, Min. You too, Gwen. Well, they are not really back, back. We can't have done what we have done without the effort of everyone here. Oh, save your thanks. I haven't done anything to hear them. If anything, I'm still working my way out of a bit of apologize. What with my old friend bailing on you and my daughter fully in the war? I can't help but feel responsible for many of the troubles you have faced. No, that's nothing to be sorry for. That's right, Grumpy Queen. Plus, you have helped us get to grips with a ton of new tech. I do wonder whatever Harvey got to, though. So, you two don't have any idea where he is? Nope. He was helping out with the Courageous too, but he never actually showed up in person. 
He mentioned something about having some business to take care of. But hey, that's your heart for you. He's going to do what he wants, whatever you like it or not. No sense in worrying about it. For now, we better just concentrate on getting you through this riveria of things in one piece. Probably a good call. To do that, I'm going to need your help to bring out Valimar and Million's power. Leave it to me. I'd be happy to lend a hand. Let me know if you need any advice or anything. Wait, I can't... Ah, Juices. Ah, Juices. Juices, so this is where you were. I thought I may be able to hear that annoying cheerful voice one more time. I should have known better. Juices. You know, Million said she'd be watching over us all the time. I don't know for sure if she is she will reply or if she can ever hear you, but I think she appreciate it if you try to talk to her. Perhaps. So knowing her, I can imagine she will enjoy a conversation which she could retort to whatever I say. Okay, that's a fair point. A chat that she couldn't take part in would probably drive her up the wall. Anyway, we should probably get moving. What was that? Looks to me like Million doesn't want you to leave. You should stay with her a little longer. Typical? Alright, Million, you win. <gasps> Palimar, Milium, it was so great talking with you. It's been so long. I already vowed that I would win this very rebellion myself. So please look over me, both of you. Hey! I hear from Crow that we'll be heading to the Dragon Shrine from here. You may only intend to do reconnaissance, but take care of yourself. I mean it. Even among the Divine Knights, Sector is quite a peculiar one like the Jagger King then. I understand. I take full precautions. Thanks for the warning. Let me see something. Okay, 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 okay. Never mind. There's nothing to see. Weapon maintenance, huh? That's right. We may have to join the battle during the, this operation. Since we still have time before it starts, it seems like a good idea to make sure everything works like it should. As for me, I've been com coming with my sword in an attempt to get some answers. Still haven't gotten over the wall, huh? Have you been able to pinpoint the problem? When I cross swords with the main campus students, I couldn't help but be frustrated at how inexperienced I am. I could still hold my own, but I felt like there was something they all had that I was missing. Hmm. Personally, I think you're giving this way too much thought, Wayne. You're doing fine. Like, remember how you used to be terrible at swimming, but you practiced and pushed through and overcame that hot roller just fine? Trust in yourself. That little extra confidence can go a long way. Stark. He's right, Wayne. So I still think coming with your weapon is a good idea. Sometimes observing the condition of the blade and all its little nicks and scratches can tell you something about yourself. It works for me. I see. I must apologize. I fear I've been going about this all wrong. I'll take a step back, relax, and figure this out if it kills me. I remember the goal is not to die, okay? So, sorry, I tend to tense up with things like this. For the time being, I should go back to focusing on basics. Wayne is the sort of person who constantly seeks to improve. I don't think you need to worry, Instructor. <laughs> you really get him, huh? Okay... Ah, oh, wait. What the hell? Where's the shop? Oh, Pablo! Pablo, nice to see you in the workshop. Hey, Tita and I are taking turns. Mint and Gustav are on parts and sold and maintenance duty, they never hold anything back either. But if Orbit's operation is what you need, then you can just leave it up to me, a genuine railroad technica prodigy, a genius even. <laughs> is that your way of asking to be officially referred to as an Orbit technician? Man, you never let up, do you? 
<laughs> Welcome. I'll see ya. Oh my god, I love your accent. Bonding event. Oh, oh no, wait. Oh, oh. I appreciate the help. Let's meet again. Is that Grianos? So, I mean, what's she doing in a place like that? I'm not sure what she's saying, but it sounds like she's speaking with someone. What's going on here? Maybe I should go talk to her. Wait, wait, wait. No, no not yet. Not yet. Go back. Go back. That is blue. Gria Grianos? Grianos, is that you? Okay, we're gonna learn it here tomorrow. We got some new, new. Okay, new, 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 new. We got Ron's Insane Arc. We got Ron in Parm. We got Ron in Erin. We got Ron in Ordis. We got Ron in Raquel. We got Ron in Alster. We got Ron in Melsond. We got Ron in Leaves. And we got Trial Chest. It's gonna be a long way before we advance. Just saying. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And see you next one. See you next one. I don't know. All the lights are passing by And all my thoughts, they multiply I see it flash before my eyes I see the whole